All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash, and by honors to the apostles and elders of Ray Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, Salakia, I probably sound like a little drowsy. I, do, I don't feel that well. But, um, but I was thinking about this. Wickedness got people thinking that they are somebody. Wickedness got people thinking that they are somebody, you know? See, the days are approaching that you're going to wish that you thought that you ain't nobody. Let me get this real quick. We're all just a breath. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceive him himself. He deceiveth himself. So you got celebrities of our people, people in the world in general who got money, who got resources right now. The earth is given in to the hands of the wicked. Job 9.24. So wickedness have made people think made people think that they are somebody you need help you need a savior this word is for the israelites we're talking to you we don't give a damn about your status the crumbs that esau ate them ate them <laughs> the crumbs that esau eat them have given you to be wicked because that's how you prosper in this world if you don't believe me, let me get this real quick. There's another reason why wickedness made people think that they are somebody. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. OK, so this this um, Psalm 73 is going into Esau, Edom, his mindset, you know, and obviously the people who cleave on to him to get a little something, something. They have to be wicked, too. Like that, and that should just be common knowledge. You cannot, like, I go on the comment boards of these videos that I be watching, you know, about you have these Illuminati videos, stuff like that. They, it really ain't Illuminati videos no more. That was like back in like 2010, you know, that's when it was being exposed, 20, you know, 2009, 2010, 2011. But now, you know, these videos are starting to circulate back. You got new people, you know, who kind of like, took over that role and you know they be showing what these celebrities be having to do when you be you know whistleblower videos and stuff like that and then you got people on the comic board like oh my god here you go with this conspiracy stuff they don't be having to do all that blah 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 you know what i'm saying so you got people out here who are just gone you know like these people out here are so dumb i put it like that this this, this for you, yeah, just dumb, you know. And what I really believe is this two things when it comes to like people like that who don't believe that you know the wicked in this world have to do abominations to get riches. Two things number one, you look up to whatever celebrity as a god, all right? So you're looking up to him, and then number two, him or her, and then number two, you want to be like them. See, your dream is to be a rapper. Your dream is to be, you know, an actor or a celebrity, whatever the case may be. You want to be there. All right. And the reason that people are still, you know, wanting to be that is because you still have people out here who are dumb. All right. Not understanding what life is about, not understanding what this world is about. And you just going to have to find out for yourself. But let's get back to the point now. Let's get back to the point of this video. So wickedness got people thinking that they are somebody. And the Lord talks about people who trust in themselves, trust in them riches. It's going to be destruction unto you. Does say of Yahweh Bashem Abishai, curse be the man that trusteth in, in man and make of his flesh his arm. Your arm represents your strength. So basically you trust in your flesh. You don't trust in the spirit. You trust in the flesh. You trust in things that make you 
feel good, which is wickedness for the most part. Okay. You trust in your money. You trust in materialistic things. You trust in your education. You trust in your job. You trust in everything that could be destroyed and that could be taken away from you. And whose heart departed from you, how will Bosh was shy? Because that's the reason why you make your flesh your strength. Because the Lord said to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. That's in Romans 8 and 5, I want to say, or Romans 8 and 6. So wickedness got people really got their chest out. Women shaking their ass all over the place. You know, showing their titties all over the place. Wickedness make them feel liberated. So wickedness got people proud. But you are in a trick bag. You are nothing. And you're going to pay for everything that you have done if you don't repent. You see how merciful the Lord is? The Lord said all manners of sins shall be forgiven. But blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And we can't even do that. Because the Lord promised Abraham that all his seed is going to be as the stars of heaven. And nations going to bow down to us. But see, there is a level. Okay? There's levels within Israel. You got the elect. And then you got the rest. And the elect is going to make it into the kingdom on the first go around. And the two thirds that be destroyed on this side, it's going to have to come back through the elect. But guess what? They still get saved eventually. They're going to have, they're going to be shame faced for a while. But however long the Lord want that to happen. And, but then after that, come here, boy, you know, come here, daughter, you know, and you're going to be able to live it up. But the point is right now, Right now, wickedness got people proud and got them in a trick bag. What is that? Surely men of a low degree are vanity. You know, people that's poor, destitute. And men of a high degree are a lie. And the scripture says, you know, because most, most people who are prosperous, the scripture says that a fool said in their heart that there is no God. You know, so you got people who made it in this life by doing Satan activities. And that's who they look at as, as God. They think God is just like, you know, oh, whatever. What, what that say is Zephaniah 1 and uh, 12. Uh, let me get that real quick. Because the mindset is at the end of that scripture. And it shall come to pass that at that time I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves, which is their comfort, all right, that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, nor, neither will he do evil. So, yeah, a man of a high degree, that's how they think. Oh, the Lord ain't going to do good. He ain't going to do evil. He, whatever, you know, because like when you try to tell a person about God, when they have things, the deceitfulness of riches choke the truth man the deceitfulness of riches ain't that a scripture i know it's a scripture let me see some deceitfulness deceit damn it how you spell it let me see let me see i think it's like this oops i know it's probably in first timothy six Oh, Matthews. All right. So, yeah, Mark 4, 19, because this is going into the parable of the sower seed. All right. And, and this is one of the parables and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of the other things entering in choke the word and become unfruitful so yeah so the cares of this world the deceitfulness of riches that's what that's what gets people not to be able to come into the truth so men of high degree are a lie to be laid in the balance they are altogether lighter than vanity which going back to the point of this video that wickedness got y'all thinking that y'all are somebody we ain't even nobody the lord said this about us real quick just to show you something so if we ain't nobody to the lord what makes you think you is 
It said, but which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by and by when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet and will not rather say unto him, make ready wherewith I may sup and gird yourself and serve me till I have eaten and drunk and afterward you shall eat and drink. I'm going to read the whole thing, then break it down. Does he think the servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise, when you shall have done all these things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants, we have done that which we which was our duty to do. So the point is, is that while we doing the work right now, we can't be bragging and boasting, talking about we about to, you know, well, I've been on the highways and byways for, for all these years. I'm about to retire now. I did what I needed to do. No, first of all, you want to work until the Lord come, until the Lord take us out the way. All right. This ain't no retirement plan. You got you got some Israelites out there who don't go out to the highways and byways no more. Like 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 you could just retire. Like his work still have to be done. So the point is, the Lord said, we just doing what we supposed to do. We are unprofitable servants. So how much more you? Oh, maybe think of this. Uh, is it, th is it this? You has been before. Nope. I know it's Psalms 135. Mm. Hold on, let me think, let me think. 139. It's basically a scripture that says that um, even a man in his best state. Let me see. Let me put that in. Man... Thirty nine and five, not one thirty nine. OK, so, yeah, <laughs> behold, you has made my days as a hand breath and my age is as nothing before you. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Do you we got people in the world who who have a high status? All right. You got people in the world like all right, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson can go to a damn concert and stand there for three minutes and people will faint <laughs> cry lose their damn mind where his ass at now back with the lord all right he ain't down here to be uh, glorified right now so the point that i'm making is that <laughs> it don't matter what status you are if you don't have your how will bosh me i was shy to listen listen see it the reason that we make these videos because the Lord told us this is what we got to do. All right. <sighs> Let me get this man. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So our job is to go out there and warn our people. And by us warning, you're supposed to fear you're supposed to fear. You're supposed to hear this word and tremble. You're supposed to hear this word and be like, you know what? I got to repent. But that don't happen. And it says, especially those who are so-called men of high degree. And it says, um, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the most high. And trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Because like when you hear this word, as it say in Isaiah 30 and 21, this is the word walk you in it. You should hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way walk you in it. That's Isaiah 30 and 21. So, yeah, like that, that's what's supposed to happen, but it doesn't. You know, so wickedness, you know, have made people proud. And that's going to cause a lot of people to be put to death. So we live in Babylon, the great majority of the Israelites who woke up live in Babylon, the great. Because this is the place of great deliverance and great destruction. This is not the only place where people are going to be delivered from, though. The Lord said from the four winds of the earth, because we're scattered into all nations. So Babylon the Great, as I say in um, the abominations of the earth. Let's get that. 
And upon her forehead was written, or was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of all harlots and the abominations of the earth. Now, the Lord chose this kingdom, as the scripture says in Jeremiah 51 to 7, the wine that all the nations drunk of. This is the wine. Okay? You have to do, you have to become Americanized to play the game. So all these nations have learned wickedness from Babylon the Great. This is the place that pushed the wickedness. And guess what? If you become wicked, as we read in um, Psalm 73 and 12, the, those are the ones who prosper. So they got, it got you feeling like you are somebody. But the Lord is about to knock that air out your chest. He's about to deflate you. So these videos that go out, we doing it because the Lord said we supposed to do it. And that if we don't do it, that y'all blows will be on our hand. But we're trying to tell you that the, all right, no matter of fact, uh, I'm going to end it on this because I just recognized the time. Son of man, speak unto the children of your people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, set him for their watchman. If when he see if the sword come upon the land and he blow and he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hear of the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him, but he, he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So the point is, is that a sword is being sharpened, man. And everybody that's wicked is going to be cut down. And if you don't repent, you're going to be cut down. So in conclusion of the matter is that wickedness got you proud, but that's a stumbling block. Wickedness got you making you feel like you're somebody because of your status, but that's a stumbling block. The Lord said he ruleth in the kingdom of men. So all of these things are stumbling blocks. And, and matter of fact, I'm ending on this. So th now this scripture is for us, the believers right here. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high. Because see, we see that it's a stumbling block. We looking at everybody, you know, feeling like they somebody because they flourishing in their wickedness. You don't even have to be a rich. If you just a person who smoke weed every day and play Madden. And, but you comfortable though. You, you, you good. You know, I don't need God. I'm cool. You know, that's a stumbling block because you thinking that you can live this way for the rest of your life. Never have to do nothing for the Lord. Never have to acknowledge the Lord. And then the Lord supposed to, you know, bless you. No, Satan blessed too. And we are in Satan's kingdom right now. Satan got you feeling like you right. Ain't nothing going to happen to you. Continue to keep doing what you're doing. So it says to them who are called according to his purpose. So we see the world for what it is. We understand what's going on. And our job is to tell you to repent. So, you know, wickedness got people feeling like they somebody. But you're going to find out the hard way. Shalom.